Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So tonight I'm going to try and do a painting tutorial for you guys. Um, I'm going to show you how I paint fire. Um, now it's not going to win you any awards, it's not going to be like top class standard. But it gets the job done and I've only ever done painted fire once before and that was on the corpse cart. And it came out pretty decent so... Um, and I know fire can be a bit intimidating to try and paint. It was for me when I tried it anyway. And once I tried it and got it finished, it was it came out pretty decent. If any of you've seen that video that I did for the corpse card, um, the fire was pretty good for tabletop standard. So um, this is the torch I'm going to be working on. So um, the four colours I'm going to be using will be um you probably won't be able to see that because it's so bright. Sunburst yellow. Um, blazing orange for the focusing um, scab red and then finally just a bit of chaos black so um, hopefully this will work out and hopefully it will help you a little bit just as much as it helped me when I was doing it so I um, hope you enjoyed and I hope it helps you thanks for watching so the first colour I went to it was with the sunburst yellow, just to kind of get the bright background on it. Um, it's pretty much just covered all, but just leave just small kind of bits of white near the bottom. Just kind of very small little parts of it. Just barely noticeable. Alright, so once the yellow was good and dry, I decided to put two layers of it on, just to give it a nice coat. Uh, you're just going to do the flame edges with your blazing orange. Um, so it's kind of, it might be a little bit hard to blend some of the the lighter colours. So just a f maybe you might have to do just a few more layers of the orange, just to get a nice coat of it on. Um, and then once again, just leaving... Uh, some of the yellow kind of in behind the flames a little bit you don't want to cover it all completely just to get the fiery look so basically what I like to do is just work from the flames down because that's the main part that you want to be focusing on Alright guys, so once you have your orange um, layered up and dry, now my blending isn't the best on this, um, it's pretty small, it's kind of hard to do, but it came out pretty decent. Um, so next I'm going to be using the scab red, for the stain focus, um, on the edges, I mostly will be staying away from the yellow with this, so it's just kind of just kind of a little bit more than the tips of it just a little bit down if you can see in that and once again you might have to layer this just once or twice and um, so far I've done all these with um, two layers each I took two of the yellow and two of the orange to go on. So I'm just going to finish that up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished then. Alright guys, so I just put one layer of scab red on it. Um, I kind of ended up could have done with another layer around the edges of it, but that's what I'm going to be working on next with the last colour, um, Chaos Black. And this is just on the tip of the the flames. This will be the final colour, just be one more little step after this. But I'm just going to keep this pretty small. Um, let's make sure I keep this in frame. So maybe just a little bit 
for the night. It's going to put a bit of an edge on it. Um, we'll focus on the flame and not on the background. So that's just on each flame, each individual one. Um, doesn't really need to, you know, lead into the like the bottom part or anything into the deeper part. I think this kind of just represents like the last bit of heat in the flames. So I'm just going to finish this off off camera because this little fine detail is pretty awkward to do with the camera in front of it. So um, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so I got all the black finished and um, just went around the edges pretty nicely, I think it came out pretty good. Just on the tips of the edges as I said, and then just like a few lines down and along it as well, just to kind of separate a little bit. So um, that's it for my painting tutorial, I hope it helps you out even just the smallest bit if you're looking to try and figure out how to do flames it's not as intimidating as you think um, if you'll ever get to see if this camera focuses there we go um, just like dive straight into it give it a go it's if you get it like at least half decent like I can you know it looks you, be, you, you will be happy with the result and um, just the bottom of it under the metal I just went over that with a black wash because I had the black wash on the metal parts so so maybe you, sh you should just do that with a brown wash maybe instead and just keep it a little bit lighter but the black one is all okay it. so um thanks for watching make sure you leave a comment let me know what you guys think and if you think there's any other way you can improve again on doing this uh, whatever way you guys are wanting to do it make sure to let me know and uh, hit the like button and if you haven't make sure you subscribe and uh, thanks for watching I hope this helped just a little bit and uh, I'm looking forward to getting some feedback. Thanks for watching, guys.